Pope Francis traveled the streets of Bucharest in a Romanian-branded car, a Dacia. Outside the Contrachen Palace, the Pope met with the President and his wife. He was also greeted by the military with all honors. Bonasiwa. After the military parade, the Pope went inside the palace. It is the official residence of the President of Romania from the late 19th century. There, Pope Francis had a private meeting with the President and the Prime Minister. Several minutes later, the President and the Pope spoke before civil and religious authorities of the country. O mare bucurie pentru mine, ca în calitate de președinte al României și în numele tuturor românilor, să vă primesc la București, la Palatul Cotrocen, și să vă urez Bun venit în România. Romania has suffered from decades of communist rule and emigration. Additionally, poverty has led to 14% of its population to emigrate in the last 30 years. Pope Francis dedicated his initial words to this situation. Pensare ai fratelli e le sorelle che sono all'estero è un atto di patriotismo, è un atto di fratellanza, è un atto di giustizia. The Pope then gave them a message of hope. He recalled the achievements since the fall of communism, such as the increase in liberty and the establishment of democracy. However, he said the country must change its mentality. Per affrontare i problemi di questa nuova fase storica, per individuare soluzioni efficaci e trovare la forza per applicarle, occorre far crescere la positiva collaborazione delle forze politiche, economiche, sociali, spirituali. È necessario camminare insieme. Si tratta infatti di sviluppare insieme alle condizioni materiali l'anima del vostro popolo. Those present applauded Pope Francis' speech. At the conclusion of the ceremony, he greeted the primate of the Orthodox Church of Romania, Patriarch Daniel.